I'm Laura Martin, and this is your Exeter History Minute. I've always wanted to say that. We thought we'd shake things up a bit, so today I'm presenting and Barbara will be running the equipment. It was actually Laura's idea back in the spring of 2012 to film short bits of Exeter's history. The Exeter Historical Society's mission is to serve as the stewards of Exeter's history. We are absolutely dedicated to that task, but it does seem like sometimes we answer the same questions over and over and over. Not that we mind. That's how public history works. We made a rough list of the most common topics everyone seemed interested in, like Exeter schools. The sled dog race. the hurricane of 1938, and the old courthouse. Occasionally, we're even able to take our show outside the Historical Society walls. Our first remote episode took place in the town vault, where we were able to film some of the oldest records in town dating back to 1638. We trekked into the PEA woods to explain the lonely gravesite of Susanna Holman Brown. I played tourist at Loch Ness in Scotland and knew I had to talk about the few early arrivals to Exeter who came as Scottish prisoners of war. And when my husband announced he had a conference in Phoenix, Arizona, well, we had to visit the Hall of Flame Fire Museum to see Exeter's Hunnaman engine on display. We filmed at Swayze Parkway, the Powder House. And when we were celebrating its 100th anniversary, the bandstand in Exeter's downtown. Designed by architect Henry Bacon, who also designed the Lincoln Memorial, it stands in the town square across the street from Town Hall, where of course Abraham Lincoln famously spoke in 1860. We also had a lot of fun with an unofficial series we called, Hey, What Is That Thing? We told you about the town pound, the creator's star on the Baptist church, the mysterious initials carved onto a curbstone, the Whitfield Monument on Front Street. None of these programs are created just by us. We've had a few guest stars. Pam Jedham recreated her scene from The Da Vinci Code. Here's the real Pam Jedham playing the part. Heavens, yes, what a character, fanatical. Every time he comes in, it's always the same search string. Grail, Grail, Grail. I swear that man will die before he gives up on that quest. Vicki Lucas found her Lithuanian relatives. Rosie had the best day of her life in the town pound. Columbus was a bit skeptical, but an awfully good sport when we needed him to help us explain Exeter's dog laws. Mike Nickerson and Alice Ahn were on hand to help us with filming when Laura couldn't be there. You may have spotted this thing popping up in episodes. Do you know when it first appeared? I hope this is whetting your appetite. There are 99 pieces of Exeter history just waiting to be watched. Our two most popular episodes are about a beautiful wax doll that survived a fire, and of course, our Twilight Zone inspired episode on the Exeter UFO. In the dark early morning hours of September 3rd, 1965, several people, including two police officers, saw unexplained red lights over and around Exeter. I'm Barbara Rumkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute, the Exeter UFO. One of our favorites was an episode on bird's eye maps that we filmed just when Game of Thrones was airing its finale. There's a fun inside joke built into it that no one caught. Maybe you can spot it. You could buy the full-size map for $2 or spend just 25 cents for a small version to send to your relatives. The basic idea was to show the town as a lively community, bursting with activity. Today we might call it economic development boosterism. Exeter is filled with history and stories and people. Through the Exeter History Minute, we're able to bring them directly to you. Exeter Historical Society members have supported the History Minute series since its beginning. If you're a member, thank you. If you're considering joining, we'd love to have you as a member. Membership information and more Exeter history can be found at our website 
at www.exeterhistory.org. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Laura. Uh, we need to film a history minute. It's going to be our 100th episode. All right. Why don't we just talk about all the other ones we've done? Okay. Sounds good. <laughs>